Alrighty, hello, hola, and bonjour, everybody. I got a kind of a different kind of video for you today. Show you a little bit on my computer screen what's going on. So I was bored. I looked up um, facts about bodybuilding. I was going to look up facts about your body and just random things. And so I stumbled upon this article, I guess you could say, from bodybuilding.com. And of course, it's from bodybuilding.com, which I hate that just because they're just trying to get you to. Um, read. I mean, they're informational things, of course, but they're really trying to get you to buy their supplements and things from them. Uh, like right here, you can see supplements, nutrition, whatever. So I stumbled upon this, and it's 10 facts about bo every bodybuilder should know. So to succeed in bodybuilding, you're going to want to know these facts. Um, let's see here. Number one, lift progressively heavier weights. I thought, I mean, this is ridiculous. This is like, I'm not even going to address that. Um, eat at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Okay. I mean, I understand that. And then they give you a little things here. But look at this. So when I was dieting, I was about 150 pounds. So I'll put that in here. And I was taking in about 200 grams of protein. About average. Around there. So right here it says, okay, so the health department, 150, which is one per gram of body weight. Average bodybuilder, holy mackerel, 255. That's like 50 more grams of protein than I was taking in, which I don't think you need that much. And so, and then look at this. The, this random doctor who says that you need 270. So, I mean, this is another thing where it's saying, it's making people think, oh, I need 255 or 270 grams of protein. I need some more protein, so I better go over here and and look how much protein you click around this link. I'm sure it gives you whatever. I'm sure it gives you a bunch of um, pages to buy their products from. I mean, it's a good marketing technique, but see, so get adequate sleep. Yeah, develop positive mental attitude. That's important. Manage stress. Okay, these things aren't so bad. Include aerobics. I mean. Let's see here. Include fats. That's good. Some people may not may think that fats are always bad or something like that. And it tells about the fats. So this is okay. Um, avoid overtraining. I personally, I don't even know. Unless you're going crazy, I really don't believe in that. I don't think that's something you can even achieve unless bodybuilding is your job and you're working out for literally like three hours a day or more. So that's something I. I mean, it's important. I don't think it's that important for people who are reading this article. It's not like pros are going to be reading this article. <laughs> and then you get to number nine: use supplements. I mean, these are facts. Remember uh, about bodybuilding. So you got to use supplements. They say. So what is this whey protein? These vitamins, creatine, glutamine, and of course a bunch of others. I'm sure they're going to say. But these are just a few that look at this. If you creatine, you click right on it, and it'll take you this thing like. Okay, there's a guide to creatine. That's helpful. That's, but who knows? They're all going to be saying you should probably use it for, you know, a matter of time and then stay off it. But anyway, then it takes you again right to the supplements and uh, where you can buy this stuff. And then I mean, all these random things like <sighs> chewable creatine. They have everything. But I'm just trying to stress how kind of stupid this is, how they're trying to get you to buy supplements and things from their site. Like using supplements, like yeah that's a fact you have to use supplements, not at all as I've proven myself not using supplements of any kind for I mean how long, eight months since summer. So that's just some and then educated okay. So then they say look, read reading bodybuilding.com, it's funny. It's just funny how uh, um, articles like this on a specific website will promote their own website, which is, I mean, it's fair. It's their website. They can do, they can do that. But I just think it's funny that they're trying to get you because this is really targeted for people who, people mostly teens or something who, 
are getting into bodybuilding and don't know much about it, so they look up facts about bodybuilding. And this is, of course, is bodymodel.com, so it's really paid for so it can be high up in the Google search. And this is what they come to, and then people believe what they see on a site like this. So I just wanted to make this video just to show you that don't believe everything you see on the internet. I mean, you don't even have to believe what I'm spewing out on this channel, but that's just my two cents on this. It's my ten cents on here. Uh, so you can take it as you please. Uh, hope you like the video. Speaking of that, you can go ahead and like the video, throw it out a comment, and even subscribe. Remember, there's always more on the way, so stay tuned. They're real expensive. It's like 20 bucks for a big thing of it. I just don't have that kind of money to waste when I'm buying all this food and everything. I mean, bodybuilding really is an expensive sport. Um, the only other thing that I really want to get, I might get when I go down to the Arnold with Matthew this Friday.